things have been oh ooh. All right, you guys. Breakfast. I meal prepped these overnight oats. They are kind of higher in points because I use coconut oil, but they're also very filling. And you could have eggs or fruit with it if you if this doesn't fill you up, but you could eat these cold. I'm going to eat them heated up because I feel like the peaches are really good once they're warm. So I'm going to pop that in the microwave. And I like to heat it up for like a minute 30. I don't like my food, honestly, super hot. <laughs> I like it um, like warm. So I'm going to do that. And then Joey made me some coffee right there. What would you put in my coffee? This is the creamer I use. You can have a tablespoon for 10 calories. A tablespoon is one point. So, you put two in there, so that's two points. I'm going to just show you guys what I eat today. Um, I, a few of the things I'm eating is my meal prep, my breakfast and my lunch. But the dinner, we ate those croissants right up. They were so good. A little higher in points, but worth it, I promise. Worth it if you have like a big chicken salad with it or um, like a side of veggies with it, um, then it's not too bad for dinner. We ate those, so we're gonna have to make something different for dinner tonight. And I think I'm in the mood for some spaghetti. I have some turkey that's already defrosted, so we'll probably eat some spaghetti, and I'll show you the pasta we use for that. Um, ooh, my oats are done. I promise they're worth it, honestly. Um, and most overnight oats are oats. If you're having a half a cup, it's gonna be six uh, at least six points if you're having as much as me and then putting the sweetener in it and stuff and the nuts um, so I feel like there's quite a bit of good stuff in here so I'm going to go ahead and eat this for my breakfast alright guys I just got done with my workout I did post my workout on my Instagram stories so make sure you're following me on my Instagram I just did legs and abs I did some planks, which are always killer, but now that I just took a shower, I'm going to have a little snack. I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to have 15 of these good thins for three smart points. This is the sweet potato. I wish I had something to dip them in, but I don't, so I'm just going to eat them plain with a big thing of water in a mason jar, and me and Joey and the dogs, <laughs> this is our setup right now. Joey's eating chips. <laughs> the dogs are chilling, and we're watching... The Man in the Castle on Netflix or Amazon? Amazon. On Amazon Prime. So we're going to just chill, snack, and watch some TV. All right, guys. This is like a little lunch I made. Two rice cakes with avocado, spicy sprouts with two eggs, and some sweet chili sauce and pepper on the top. So this is going to be my lunch. I really wanted some guacamole, but not with chips. So I just made this. I really like rice cakes because they're like so versatile, you can do so much with them. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you, I put it up, I put up some positive notes for myself. I haven't done that before. I feel like I need to try it because I'm going to talk to you guys in a bit about how my month was in August, how I'm feeling. So but first I want to show you a few of the positive notes that <laughs> I did. Um, so I have one up here. I think it's kind of hard to read, but it's just basically saying um, it's just a weekend. Don't let it ruin your good week. Joey put this on the pantry door. You, you are a strong-willed woman. <laughs> And then I have just like them everywhere, literally. Um, you have a goal, you want this, and then this one's a really good one. Stop it. You're not hungry, you're bored. Eat tomorrow. Because sometimes when I get bored or emotional, I tend to eat a lot. And yeah, no good. And then there's one in here that Joey left me on my mirror which I thought was so stinking cute. Yeah, just a few throughout the house. Um, but yeah, let me sit down now and kind of chat with you guys.
So I basically kind of talked about this on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me there. Um, just how, how I'm feeling and just what's been going on. Um, I had a pretty weird month in August. Um, I did have really good days and then I had really bad days. And I felt like my bad days were just really, really bad to where I just wanted to eat everything, eat my feelings. Um, I kind of avoided tracking a few days and not tracking correctly. Um, just being kind of lazy with it and not giving it my all. So I did weigh in Sunday. I weigh in once a month. Um, I weighed actually twice throughout the month of August and I am up three pounds which isn't a lot, and I know I can lose that, and I probably will lose that within a week or so, hopefully, um, but I don't think there's, there's not just one reason why I gained the three pounds, there's a lot of different things, the biggest one was, though, I wasn't consistent in August, I didn't give it my all in August, um, so yeah, Brooks is gonna come say hi, um, the good thing about this is I'm not devastated about this. I talked about this before, but the only devastating thing would be is if I just threw in the towel and gave up, which I've done in previous diets and lifestyle changes. I would gain a pound, three pounds, eight pounds, and just give up. Um, this time I'm not, and that's how I know I'm evolving and I'm changing and I'm getting better and better. Um, my goal for September, I have planned out so many things, video ideas, and just my, like, more so, like, work stuff, and then I have a positivity planner, I got this at Target for three dollars, and I put, um, like, personal goals that I want to, I think Brooks just might have farted, <laughs> personal goals that I want to accomplish, so I am going to kind of share a little bit of my personal goals with you guys, um, so, the first one is I want to continue to work out. I did work out in August, but I feel like I'm not challenging myself, and I started to kind of dread my workouts, and I don't want that mindset. I don't want to dread my workouts. I want to enjoy my workouts. So, I enjoy swimming, so I'm going to swim more, and I'm going to do weights more. I did a yoga challenge in August. Um, I didn't finish it, but I just wasn't... Like, I enjoyed that, but I stopped really, like, lifting a lot, so I'm going to do it all. I'm not going to just do one workout, you know, and pinpoint one activity. I'm just going to be kind of flowing with different activities and challenge myself, intensify my workouts, whether that's longer workouts or just, like, more weight, higher weight, um, things like that, or more cardio. So, the second thing is to track, like, I'm a newbie. So I am doing a little September challenge. It's just on Instagram. It's you leave a heart if you've hit a blue dot and you're just like sharing it with your Instagram page and being accountable um, because you know you have to share it. So I think it does kind of help. Um, so that's my goal is just to um, track like I'm a newbie. Like when you first started WW and you're super excited. So when you first start WW, you're so excited and you're pumped and you're motivated, that's my goal, is to find that motivation and that excitement and track everything accurately, um, weigh everything out, pinpoint everything, um, just just be more how I was in the beginning. Then my third goal I mentioned um, was, I try to explain this as best as I can, but to be more vulnerable and ask for help when I need it. Um, I feel like when I'm negative or in a negative headspace or I'm emotional and I'm overeating or wanting to overeat or feeling bad for myself that I'm, you know, having to do this, you know, lifestyle and I can't just eat what I want and be fine. Um, if you guys can relate to that, like, I start to feel pity about that, um, which is silly, but it's, you know, it happens. So... I want to start asking for help to my, with my community and not always showing the good, which I don't always show the good, but when I'm like really down and in the negative slump, I usually just log off social media and I don't get on the whole day. And I do what I do, go through the, the low, low, and I don't reach out to anyone. And I feel like there's so many people out there that could help me, and um, I know a lot of people care about me, 
and have a lot of really good advice because they've been through it or are going through it. So that's kind of my goal is to just ask for help, use the tool, use social media for what I feel like has is a good thing and a positive aspect of social media is a community and support. So that is a little goal I have. I just wanted to kind of discuss where I'm at. I feel like September is going to be a great month. Um, I think I'm going to weigh myself this Sunday, actually, to see if those three pounds dropped down um, and dropped off. So I'll keep you guys updated um, on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. Um, I might I probably will mention it in a video as well, so if you don't have Instagram, don't worry. Um, I'm sure I'll mention it in a what I eat in a day and kind of update you guys again when I weigh in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well, and if you need a restart and a reset and I know I said in August I was doing this, but it's just, it's just a natural. I think all people go through this where they think something's going to happen and then it doesn't. That's a lot of rambling, but I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I highly suggest you guys writing in your planner, writing in a positivity journal, write down as much things that come to your mind. I think it really does help putting it out there. And also talking to you guys, this is this has been a fitting me so much, and I know you guys will say I inspire you, but it's so cool how this works, that like me working on myself inspires you, and then you guys inspiring me, and it's just like this huge circle. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and um, being here during this, and it's pretty cool because I know you guys, a lot of you have followed me from the beginning, and you're seeing me, you saw me at my heavis, you saw me at 48 pounds down, you're going to see me just keep continuing to lose the weight, and I just think that's so cool, so I have a goal, I'm going to achieve that goal, whether it's sooner or later than what I thought, it doesn't matter, because I'm going to achieve it eventually. Working. Yo, <laughs> I just knocked you head. So, you guys seem to want to know more about my dogs. Um, I've even had a video request of, oh, oh my gosh, of introducing them. Sit. This is Brooks. He's the boy. He's four years old? Maybe five? Wait. January 16th. He's four. Um, he's an American Bulldog mix. He is goofy. He is sweet and cuddly. Um, but mostly goofy. <laughs> He's a little lover boy, he loves to cuddle, he loves to, has to sleep under the covers. Um, he's just a sweetheart, you guys. He's big, he's a big boy, he's like 90 pounds, I think. He's pretty large. Um, yeah, he's, he's just the sweetest. He loves playing with the ball and he likes walks. And, yeah, he's a good boy. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? And then we'll do a little introduction of Brixie a little bit later. She's definitely sleeping because she's the lazy one. Brixie! You wanna come? Oh! Brixie! Hi! Brixie is a Rhodesian Ridgeback um, red nose mix. We got her when she was a baby. She has the ridge on her back as you can see. Um, she's littler and shorter. They're not related. Um, we got them separately. Brixie is the laziest dog in the world. All she likes to do is sleep. That's all she wants to do. Right, Brixie? But yeah. Brixie's the sleepy pup. She's the lazy pup. All she likes to do is sleep. Sometimes she doesn't even want to go outside on a WALK. -okay. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even want to go out. You just want to lay down. Her, um, I don't know why she's like that. She just is. That's just who she is. Lazy boy. <laughs> I was going to have Sloppy Joe's um, for dinner. That is uh, in the fridge still. But instead, I want to have some spaghetti. Because that's what I really, really want. So I have some ground turkey here with some tomato sauce that I cooked. And then I'm going to make some spaghetti. I use the Protein Plus spaghetti. This is really friendly points. I'll leave the points on the screen um, for how much you can have. It's quite a bit. I've showed this before. So I'm going to go ahead and make some spaghetti. Okay, this, this is why I love the Protein Plus pasta. Do you see how much spaghetti I can have? So you can have two ounces for five points. I have 
the beef, uh, or not beef, I have ground turkey with some sauce. This came to four points. And then the cheese, I did one half tablespoon, which is zero. And then I have a side of some veggies. Yum. Just microwaved them. And salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. A little bit of oil spray. And there you go. That is my dinner. Guys, I'm not eating dessert tonight, but the dogs, the dogs are. Sit. So I'm going to give the dogs a cookie treat. There you go, baby. And uh, call it a night. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe if you're not. Give this video a thumbs up. Liking my videos really helps me out, and I appreciate it so much. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Ooh, the way the things have been, oh, ooh.